this is an appendix that I want to use to show you a way to prove the incompressible fluid equation, which is the divergence of the velocity of uh, a fluid is equal to zero if the fluid is incompressible, which means that the density of the fluid is equal to a constant. This equation can be derived from the principle of conservation of mass. So we have the mass of a fluid, so for example we consider some region which is enclosed in this volume V and there is some fluid contained in this region, inside this region. So we, we can consider the three-dimensional space. When we talk about the Laplace equation, we have solved it in a two-dimensional space. But in this case we are going to consider a three-dimensional space, so we can be more general. And this equation here, the divergence of V equal to zero, is also satisfied in a three-dimensional three space. Now I want to consider the mass, the, the mass of the, the fluid, and I can integrate the density of the fluid over the volume. So I'm integrating over this volume here. But now we have to be a little careful because in general when the fluid is moving, the shape of the fluid can change. Okay, so the volume can also be a function of time because the shape of the fluid can also change. And I, I'm going to write it here. So I have to integrate over the volume which depends on time and the density is a function that depends on space so it depends on the three coordinates x uh, written like that so it's a vector where, where by x I mean x y z so there are three coordinates here and then it can also depend on time and integrate over the volume and I want to int I want to take the derivative of this with respect to some parameter for example time so when I take the derivative with respect to time this expression should give me zero because this is the total mass of the fluid, total mass, and that should that should be a constant. Therefore, the the derivative of that should be equal to zero. And basically, what this tells us is that the integral over the volume at time t plus some small increment delta t dt is. Uh, I mean, the integral of rho of x, the vector x, t plus dt here, dv, should be equal to the integral over the volume calculated at time t, rho of x t, dv. Okay, where dv, if you want, the differential of the volume, the, the infinitesimal volume sometimes can also be written as d3x, because we are integrating over 3 three coordinates. It's a three-dimensional three uh, element. And now I can expand in a Taylor series this expression here because dt is a very small quantity so I, I will truncate the series uh, at the first order so I, I will have something like this. Uh, rho of x t plus dt can be approximated by rho of x t plus the derivative of rho with respect to time evaluated at x t times dt like this okay and um, so I can rewrite it like this I have integral of rho of x t dv and here I have to integrate over v of t plus dt and here if I take this quantity over to the left hand side I can rewrite it as minus integral v of t rho of x and t dv and then I still have plus integral v of t plus dt of d rho of x and t dt dv dt equal to zero okay and now let's uh, consider consider uh, this quantity here so the first integral is calculated at when the volume has changed by a very small quantity. So this is, for example, v of t plus dt, let's say. 
Whereas an infinitesimal instant before that, the volume was something like this, for example. So the volume was V of T, like this. And if I subtract these two, these two quantities, I'm integrating over this very small portion of the volume, right? Because I'm subtracting this from that. Okay, so I'm removing all that's contained in here. And therefore, since dt is a very small quantity, it means that I'm integrating over the boundary of uh, of the volume so it's like it's as if I'm calculating the function I'm evaluating the function rho of x and t at the boundary here okay so it's difficult to to follow this uh, curve here but you get the idea so I'm integrating here I have to evaluate the function rho of x and t at the boundary and then I have to multiply by the uh, so I have to evaluate it at the boundary, let's say. And then I have to multiply by the infinite, for example, let's consider this infinitesimal element here, dv here, this is dv. How can I rewrite dv? So if the fluid is moving in such a way that the volume changes a little bit, it means that the velocity along that, that direction which I, um, I, can, I can rewrite as the velocity v dot product with the, the normal to the surface where the surface is, uh, let's say it is the boundary of this volume v of t here so it, it is the boundary of this volume which is the, um, the, the, the surface that I have drawn in, uh, in blue and then I have to multiply by dt to get the displacement displacement for example from here to here from uh, here to here from here to here and so on and so forth and 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 then you multiply by the ds element of the surface so that's the element of the surface and you have to integrate the function over the surface so that's how you evaluate it at the boundary okay so this is the integral of rho of x and t v dot n ds which you can also rewrite you can also you have to integrate over the surface but you can also rewrite it by using gauss uh, theorem the divergent, theor the divergent theorem because this is a closed surface and therefore you can rewrite it as the divergence of rho of x and t v here dv and you also have dt and then you also have to calculate the integral uh, over the volume v of t okay now you you can rewrite uh, the the expression like this you have integral over v of t and then you have divergence of rho of x and t times the velocity dv dt plus integral over v of t plus dt d rho of x and t over dt dv dt equal to zero now we can cancel this dt here we divide by dt and then we can let we can let dt go to zero okay if we let dt go to zero the integral here will be performed over v of t right and 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 therefore you can rewrite it as integral over v of t divergence of rho of x and t v plus times v plus d rho of x and t dt dv equal to zero and since the volume is a very generic volume 
uh, it means that the integrand should be equal to zero. So this should be equal to zero. And therefore we, you have d rho over dt plus divergence of rho v equal to zero. So this is the, gen the general form of the equation that you get. Of the, this is the conservation of mass. This represents the conservation of mass. But if you consider an incompressible fluid, rho is equal to a constant. So if rho is equal to a constant, you will get that d rho over dt is equal to zero and also uh, you can take rho out of this divergence operator. So it, it cannot depend on time and it cannot depend on space. Therefore the divergence of rho of rho v is equal to rho divergence of v. And therefore the equation will become, in this case, divergence of v equal to zero. And this is how you, you get this equation here.